All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Thursday, the 7th of October, and we have got a killer week, killer lineup of tastings next week, which is one of which we're here to promote our Brida event with good friend Raffaella Bologna. She is making, oh God, I can't remember the last time Raffaella was in town, but practically every time that I know that she's here, we have done an event with her. And this is a winer whose wines that I fell in love with a long time ago, back at my days at Cafe Max. And the first wine that I fell in love with from them was the Brico de Uccellone. And uh, this is a very famous winery in the town of Rochetta Tanaro in the Piedmont. And uh, <clears throat> Giacomo Bologna, the father who passed away several years ago, well, in the 90s, uh, still remembered to this day as being the legends of this part of the Piedmont. And he gained his name, uh, Braida, on the soccer field, or the Elastico was the name of the game. It's a local game that's played in that part of, the, of Italy. And uh, just a character, one of these real gregarious fellows, really outgoing, very inquisitive. And uh, he was the first person to believe that you could make a world-class wine from the lowly Barbera grape. Well, today there are a lot of other people making incredible wines from Barbera. What Giacomo did is he traveled to different parts of the world, to Napa Valley, to Bordeaux, and he saw how they were treating their best wines. They were putting them in new French barriques. So what did he do when he came back to the Piedmont? He started using new French barriques for his top wine, his Uccellone, this unique vineyard site. Bricco means the side of a hill. Uccellone is a large uh, uh, bird, actually, and uh, they're referring to this woman that dressed in black and looked uh, was very large, and I guess she looked kind of like a bird with her large nose. So that's how they referred to this vineyard. And uh, he had a lot of uh, fun names for his wine, like the Moscato di Asti, the second wine that I fell in love with from Brida. He calls it Vigna Senzanome, the wine without a name. And uh, the Brichetto di Acqui, another great uh, fresh, fruity uh, dessert or aperitif style wine. Um, they make 5% alcohol, lightly sweet, uh, the red version of Moscato. Two fabulous wines. Whenever we do a tasting with this producer, those two wines, people have never had Moscato and Brichetto just go, wow, these wines are incredible, light and refreshing, really whimsical. But we are trying a whole lineup of wines that are available from Bridal Winery, uh, including the Isuma a uh, wine that came after uh, Giacomo's death. And the kids, uh, like the father, have a sense of humor. And what you see there is uh, actually Giacomo's lips. They did a cast of his lips and put them on the bottle here. And I assume as an expression meaning we're finally there. We've got it. And that's what they said when they made this wine. Uh, and they finally got it right, I assume, And that's what they named it. And this is a wine that's a late harvest Barbera. It's a little bit more rich. Uh, also see some barrique, maybe a little exaggerated style Barbera. For me, my favorite wine is still the Uccellone, the original great Barbera from the Piedmont from Brida di Giacomo Bologna. So check it out, all the wines that we have from uh, Brida. We have a vertical tasting of Uccellone that we'll be showing go back, going back to 1993 out of Magnum. We did 20 vintages of Uccellone a year ago, all the way back to 85, the first vintage. and It was absolutely amazing. The 85, still spectacular. And like I said, we're going to do this in two parts. We've got all the current releases we're going to be showing first. Then we're going to sit down and do a vertical tasting of Uccellone. Check it out along with everything else available from Brida Winery. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember... Always drink the good stuff first.